Hi everyone. I've been getting quite a few questions on how to handle the pinky on our left hand. And I know that's something a lot of people struggle with, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a video to give you some tips that you can work on that will drastically improve your pinky and solve some of the problems. First, I really highly recommend that you watch my video called Three Common Problems for the Left Hand and How to Fix Them, because that will give you a lot of tools that will help your pinky. And also watch my exercise on, or my video on exercises for double jointed violinists. I think it's called that, or it might be called clothespin exercises, because part of the problem with pinky is that it tends to be weak. So whether you're double jointed or not, watch that video because it can also help people who are not double jointed just to build up the strength in this weak little finger. Okay. Next, after you view those videos, I'm just going to review something that I said in one of the videos and that was about the line on the knuckles. You draw a line on your knuckles, or imagine a line on your knuckles, and make sure that it's not flat. Make sure that it's slanted slightly towards the ceiling. Make sure that your wrist is not pointing out, because look what that does to Pinky. Pinky does not have a chance of being curved or of having any strength. If you bring your wrist in, it makes your Pinky feel longer and it gives it a nice strong arch so you can really pound out the notes with your pinky. Okay. And then the last tip is draw a little circle or imagine one on the inner corner of your pinky, the one closest to your thumb. That's where you want the string to make contact, but it doesn't for a lot of people because the pinky is naturally bow-legged. You see that gap there? He wants to curve all bow-legged like, and you've got to train him to curve the other way. So I'm going to give you some exercises to help you with that, but I think the most helpful thing is to draw a circle and just you start doing some target practice. Get your line slanted, press your pinky so that it makes a dent or a groove and then check out where that groove went. Do you see where mine is? It's going right through the dot. A lot of people, they let their pinky be bow-legged and look where it puts the line. Right there on the opposite side. So you want to train it so that your pinky is hitting the string with the inner corner. Okay. Um, now with that having been said, I'm going to give you some very specific, very easy exercises to help the pinky's coordination to get in the habit of getting your wrist in just the right position and getting that line at the perfect slant to help your pinky. Okay, we're going to start out by doing third fingers and fourth fingers. Well, that's all we're going to do is third fingers and fourth fingers. We're going to start out doing a half step. Make sure that your line is slanted. Make sure your wrist is in a good position so that your pinky can be curved, not in a position like that. Okay? And we're just going to do this. Memorize this rhythm. And that's just a fun, someone referred to it as the Three Stooges rhythm. His name was Alan, and he taught at the Suzuki. Institute, the Intermountain Suzuki String Institute. I want to give credit where credit's due because I've used this exercise a lot. I've never seen the Three Stooges, but he says that's the music to the Three Stooges. So do that on all four strings a lot, making sure that your line is going right through your dot. Okay? Then you're going to expand it to a whole step. Make sure your fingers are slanted. Your wrist is in the right position, and you have a nice arch. Okay, here we go. Whole step. Ready, and... You can hear, you can hear the strength of my pinky from being in that position. 
word of caution, when you're doing this exercise, you're going to want to start squeezing or getting tension on the thumb. Don't do it. If you have to, take your thumb off. It's hard and it sounds gross, but don't get into the habit of squeezing. Okay, do that on all four strings. And then finally, we're going to do a step and a half. And that really teaches some finger independence between pinky and ring finger. Ring finger has to stay put and pinky has to reach but he still has to land on the inner corner so in order to do that sometimes you have to shoot high and drag it down and that tends to roll your finger onto the corner if you have a really stubborn pinky go ahead and try that start Say we're going to do a half step, but say that your pinky keeps landing like that. And you just cannot break the habit. Then you would start at a whole step and then drag it down. And that rolls your pinky onto the inner corner. Okay, that's for the really stubborn, stubborn pinkies. For most of us, it'll just be enough just to draw the line and the dot and to focus on slanting and bringing our wrist in. That'll be enough for some people. But I have had a few students who had to shoot high and then drag it down to help roll their pinky. Okay, let's do a step and a half one more time. You can still hear the strength in my pinky. Okay, hope that helps. Work with it a little bit. You'll be very surprised at how quickly you'll get results with these exercises.